candidate for lieutenant governor, and please remember to go vote. In that corner is our own Fairfax County resident, Justin Fairfax. Welcome. Thank you all. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Uh, I'm so honored to be here with you tonight. We were here four years ago on the stage. And I want to give a round to our great congressman, who was my great congressman, Jerry Conley. We've got to work for Jerry and support him. He's done incredible work uh, in Congress fighting for us. And we need a fighter now more than ever. Uh, as Jerry mentioned, I'm running for Lieutenant Governor of the Commonwealth of Virginia. Uh, I would be honored to earn your support tonight. Uh, in the straw poll and your support on June the 13th uh, in our primary uh, because this election is one of the most critical elections we've had in the history of this country. Uh, you heard a lot about the current president, Donald Trump. Uh, it is clear in the first 60 days that he is the worst president we have had in the history of the United States of America. Uh, he has tried to break the fabric of this nation, uh, but he does not know what he's touched on. When I was here four years ago, the crowd was about half this size. We are seeing excitement and energy in this commonwealth and in this country like we have not seen since the 1960s. Uh, we are seeing a rebirth of activism, of patriotism, of citizens getting involved in reclaiming this nation, reclaiming the foundation of our Constitution. And I promise you, we will resist every single time this administration tries to target one of us, they target every single one of us. Every community will fight for each other. We will be there for each other. Six weeks ago, uh, I went out to Dulles Airport the first night of that unethical, immoral, unconstitutional Muslim travel ban. It's one of the worst things I've ever seen. I went to volunteer as a lawyer and a former federal prosecutor, and it's the proudest day that I have ever had as an attorney, because every person that they unlawfully detained pursuant to that order that night at Dulles Airport, every single person got to go home, leave that airport, be with their families, and we enforce their constitutional rights. We will do that every single time. It demands us to stand up for each other, to be there for each other. Uh, and we also saw another example of us coming together, and that was the day after this president was inaugurated. Who here was involved with the Women's March? Please, round of applause if you were involved with the Women's March. That was one of the most powerful displays we have seen in the history of this nation and of this world. 2.9 million people around the world marched in cities around this country and around the world, and it is a sign of things to come. We are going to resist but we also are going to rise in this nation. We are going to make it possible for everyone to live the American dream, no matter where you were born, what your last name is, who you love, your gender identity. You will get a shot in this country just like everyone else. It's the same shot that I was able to get when my mother raised all four of us, put all four of her children through college and two of us through law school. She changed the course of the history of our lives, and we now have a spiritual debt to make sure that everyone gets that shot. And I promise you, the American dream will be reborn in this time, as dark as it seems politically. We are about to see a rising like we have never seen in the history of this country. Uh, I was raised by a strong woman, I am married to a strong woman, and I am raising a strong woman. We are going to protect everyone's rights. We're going to make sure there is equality across the board, economic security, and opportunity for all. And I promise you, what we do in Virginia in 2017 this year, we are going to be the match that likes the wildfire of progressive change all across this country and all across this world. So God bless you. Thank you so much. Let's fight and win. God bless you. Thank you.